all the fans will be be there. It'll be a, a capacity crowd. I think there's about one or two tickets or something left for the game, but a good atmosphere and a, a big big game for the the guys to get involved in. Well, it was a great atmosphere at the start of the season when we played them in a friendly and, and we won three nothing. Obviously, uh, it was a, a big crowd at Dens, um, and then we took them back to uh, Tandice at the start of the season, and again same score, great crowd, and uh, I'm sure it'll be the same again tomorrow at Dens Park. We sold our, our allocation, as you said, uh, Mark, which is great for us. Um, obviously great for Dundee being the, the home side, and uh, it'd be great if we could uh, continue what we've done in the last couple of games. But um, Dundee have found their feet now. You know, they're uh, looking good. You know, they've picked up uh, a lot of invaluable points over the last month. And uh, I read in the papers what the manager said about Barry Smith, and he's, he's 100% correct. You know, Barry's done a, a, a great job at, at Dens Park, albeit them being Club 12 because they only had two or three weeks to, to assemble their, their team. And um, they've settled down in the, in the Premier League really well, and they're, they're now on the heels of St Murn. Um, we've got to sort of try and make sure that we do what we've done over the last couple of games against Dundee, but we're expecting a, a real tough uh, derby encounter, which we always have against uh, our local rivals and our near rivals, which is Dundee. Do you look at the last game as to take positives from that, or because it's a derby, that's just consigned to history now? Well, obviously, we're delighted you know, to pick up the three points at, uh, at Tannadice, Mark, you know, but... Before we scored, you know, they had a, 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 a couple of chances, you know, and if they had scored, then it could have been a completely different game. Uh, and as you well know, you know, um, over the last few few games, we, we haven't started particularly well, and the only game that's uh, been good for us at present has been obviously um, uh, Stranraer. Uh, so we've got to come out the blocks again without being uh, kamikaze or stupid, but we've got to make sure that. Uh, uh, we were in our 50-50s and win all the knockdowns and close people down when uh, when necessary. But um, I'm sure Dundee will be the same. Uh, and I'm sure Barry Smith will be saying the same thing to, to his players. And I know our manager's been very positive and upbeat all week. And uh, we've got to make sure that uh, we don't give them uh, any clear-cut chances and any sniff of the game. And two of the guys we've already mentioned today, John Daly, Johnny Russell, they were amongst the goals in those two games that you, you talked about uh, previously. So that will also give them a wee bit of confidence going into this one as well. Yeah, yeah. I think Barry Smith and that will obviously be trying to instill in his players that you know these players are, are dangerous. But if they're not doing it, doing it for us, you know, you're just hoping that somebody else will uh, come in and, and, and score the goals because um, you know there's there's been a share of goals this year at, at United. And it's just not just the two Johnnies, but it's other players as well. And uh, uh, I'm sure that other players will contribute uh, contribute as well uh, in regards to uh, trying to score goals and uh, make it difficult for for our, uh, our rivals, which is Dundee. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's one of these ones that you know local derbies are, are are important for the fans because on the Monday you know they go to their work and they have the bragging rights. We as players just want a, a a win, and if you get a win, you're delighted and you're relieved until the next time. But you just got to make sure that you do what you've been doing over the uh, the last um, or several games. And if you do that, then as I say, Mark, you're you're hoping to come away with something from Dens Park. I'll well, obviously look forward to the game on Sunday. It'll be a cracker, hoping for the three points. But just before we go, Paul, uh, there was obviously the, the sad news of uh, former chairman and player uh, Doug Smith uh, passing during the week there. And there'll be a, a minute's applause before the game as a mark of respect for a, a true gentleman of the game. Well, it was a true, a, a true giant at uh, Dungeon United because um, I came in 74, Mark, and uh, uh, I'm not saying he took me under his wing, but obviously I learned a lot of excellent traits from, from Doug Smith. Um, as you say, a gentleman, but he was a quality player as well, you know, and uh, he left in, in 76 and obviously eventually um, David Neri and myself took over the, uh, his position, but a lovely man, you know, a gentleman, uh, a man with uh, integrity and, and good ethics and good morals, and um, it's a sad loss for, for obviously his immediate family, and it's a sad loss for Dungeon 80 because... Um, People like that are uh, few and far between, and uh, he was a he, he was a gentleman and a, an excellent player, Mark. And uh, I just send out my condolences to to the immediate family. And uh, obviously on Saturday, on Sunday there'll be um, a minute's applause, which is uh, which is very fitting for a for a, a giant at Dungeon United.
to our next hero, ladies and gentlemen, a personal boyhood hero of mine, I must say. As I said at the outside, there's been all the discussion on the margins about the names that should be in the Hall of Fame, the names that will be in the Hall of Fame, but I am willing to bet, I am willing to bet you that the next name features in every single list. Doug Smith. Yeah. Yeah. To, to say what a pleasure it is and an honour for, uh, probably speak for seven of us, it is to be honoured like this tonight. Uh, I've spent much, much of my, maybe more than half my life with Dundee United and I've met so many friends and, and that now. And, you know, my wife, you know, I don't know how she stands. She stood up to it, you know. And, uh, I must say, I've thoroughly enjoyed my whole life with Dundee United. Thank you very much.